I want to show you guys how you can actually rotate an object in your web page by angle 360. And we're not going to use something like JavaScript to do this. We're going to use something like pure HTML and that of the CSS to do this. It's really very simple. So it's going to be a shape of an object. In fact, let me show you that on my computer so that you understand what we're about to build. So let's get into my computer. See that right now. All right. So this is basically the image that I want to rotate. Just the shape of an F. And then it's rotating by 360 continuously like that. And let's see how we can actually put this together. What I want to do first of all is to open my Visual Studio code right now. And let me just double click on this. And as that opens, I want to just drag and drop this rotate folder right here. I want to just put it in here. And as you can see, we have nothing inside of it. Okay, it's just an empty folder right here. And let me show you where that is actually is on our, okay? I've already shown you that. So this is it on our desktop. It's an empty, empty folder. So I want to go ahead and then create our first file in, inside of it, which we're going to basically call index.html. And let's open that up. And I want to generate our boilerplate in here. So this is it. And I'm going to just go ahead and just say rotate. And sorry about that. Just make sure we do that within this place. This is going to be rotate like that. And then within the body, we're going to we're going to first of all, I want to create something like a div in here. So this is going to be div. And I want to give that a class of header. All right. So let's, let's make sure we call that header. And that is it. And we can actually go ahead and close the div down here. So this can actually be closed down here. Let's call that div. And that is it. So within this place, I want to bring in the image. So I'm going to go do img. And I'm going to do src for source. And we can go ahead and then reference to the image right here. So we're going to basically say something like, oh, this is this is going to be called f. I think I called that f earlier. Dot png. That's the name of the file. And then we can create an alt text for it. So we can just say something like image or whatever you basically want to call that. Okay. And I also want to add a class onto this. And let's go ahead and then call that. Uh, we still want to call that F so that, so that we can actually use that to for the styling. Okay. So that is it on that line. And we have that right there. However, if we save the changes, we wouldn't actually see this image within our web page. So if we go to rotate and then we double click, we would not actually see that right here. Okay. And the reason for that is because we have not actually brought in the image into that particular folder. So what I want to do is if I go to the desktop right now, I want to copy the image from here i just want to copy this and then if i go to okay let me go back to desktop again and i open up the second folder right here and i want to paste that image right here okay so we now have it right here and now if we refresh this page you should be able to see the image coming okay but it's a lot larger than it's actually supposed to be so we can use css to resize it so if we go back to our development environment i want us to add some style tags right here you can actually create an external link to your css if you want to so let's just close our style right here i just want to use something like an inline css in here and that is it so the first thing i want to start right now is going to be the body so i'm going to do body and you can actually let's say that the body is actually going to be set to something like zero pixels and also the margin is also going to be set to zero pixels that and after that let's say that the font family and let's say this is going to be area and we should use this that's okay and after that we should have uh, let's say something like overflow and we can say that to hit it like that and that is it so the next thing i want to work on is going to be let's work on this header right here so i'm going to copy this and then down here i want to do a dot header and then we can start writing some css files for this all right so within this place right now the first thing i want to do i just basically want to let me set an overflow right here but first of all let me set the background so let's say that the background of this place is actually going to be black so i'm going to just set that to um zero 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 right there and we can set the overflow let's go ahead and also set it to hidden and let's make sure we type that correctly and even though before here i just want to like set the position of that particular element to absolute so this is going to be absolute like that and um, all right so that's just what that is and then the next thing i want to do is i want to set a width and a height for this so i'm just basically going to say something like 100 percent so that it will be responsive and we can also set um Let's go ahead and set a height for this. So this is going to be height. And you can go ahead and just do something like 100 VH like that. And that is it on that line. And then if we go to our browser right now and then refresh, we should kind of see this come down quite a little bit in size. So the background is actually showing, but some other things are basically not showing for some reasons, you know. 
Okay, th this is basically for the, uh, what is it called? For the header. The next thing we want to do is to move on to the F. So I'm going to do dot F right there. And then we can write some styles for the F right here, which is basically going to be affecting only the image right here. So here, let's say max width. This is going to be max width. And we can actually set that something like 40%. And after that, we can actually go ahead and, and then work on the animation. Okay. So first of all, let's say this is going to be animation. And we can actually name the animation first of all. So this is actually going to call something. Let's call this something like spin F, which is the name. And we can actually instruct it to add a spin for 20 seconds. And we can tell it the type of animation that we want, add a linear. So we can just say something like linear. And we can actually stop right there. Okay, we're going to add another parameter here at a later time. But let me just go ahead and stop right here. And if you think that if you save that right now, that it's actually going to animate, if you go ahead and save this right here, you see that the object actually shows up right here, but it's really not actually animating. But we're going to make sure that it animates down here. Okay, and to do that, to make sure that it's really animates, we're going to use at keyframe, at keyframes right here. And then we're going to go ahead and copy the name of the uh, the animation right here, which is actually called a spin animation. I mean, a spin F, right, like that. And then we can actually go in within this particular place and begin to specify um, the animation values, okay, the keyframe values in here. Okay, so let's set a from right here. So this is going to be from. So if we say from right here, we can just say that maybe we want this to actually transform. I just put a colon right here and we can just say rotate. I'm going to put a, a bracket right here. We're going to just say something like zero degree. So DEG right there. And you can go ahead and then terminate this line in here. But then I just basically want to copy this because I want to use that for the tool. And if I paste that right here, and I want to change this from what it is right now to two. Okay, so we basically we want it to basically scroll. I mean, I translate from zero degree to 260. So I'm going to just do 360 right here. Okay, so that's just what that is right now. Okay, so it rotates from that particular place right now to where it is right now. So I want to save the changes. And then if we go back in here and then we we'll refresh, um, you see that I don't know whether you guys are really seeing that very well, but that should be something like a movement of it really trying to scroll by um, zero degrees. Okay, but if you want to see that visible, you want that to be visible, you can actually come to this place and then you can just do something like infinite. Okay, if you want that to continue scrolling. And if you put that and then save the changes and then you go back to your browser right here and then refresh and that's really not actually rotating. And I think I made a mistake in my syntax right here. So this is actually supposed to be found inside of this place like this and I should also take this away and then put it inside. First of all, I want to cut this and if I save and then rotate and then I refresh. So it seems like it's a kind of a rotate just one. But if I bring in this back into this place and make sure that this particular uh, bracket is actually going to have to be within this particular place and then save the changes and then if we refresh this page like this you're going to notice that that is actually going to start spinning okay so it's going to start spinning so that's just basically how to actually do that okay so and it's really very simple guys so if you want to like reduce that maybe you want it to be kind of rotate faster you can do 10 seconds right here and then within 10 seconds you should be able to complete that you see that it's actually moving faster right now. If you want to do something like, let's say, um, this is actually going to be something like, let's say, four seconds. You can actually do that. Let's save the changes. And then refresh the browser right here. You see that it rotates a lot faster, guys. It rotates a lot faster, okay? So that's just what that is. But I just basically want to leave that at 20 um, seconds right there. Okay, so that's just basically how that is um, actually done. And if you like this video, just make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And I've actually used this. If you think this is really not important, I've actually used this in one of the projects that I have used so far. So if I go to look post and I want to go to, I can't remember the person I built this project for. So, but if I go to, okay, I think it was actually called the boo. So if I go to this and I open that up and I see that I'm actually utilizing that. Okay. So this is the object right here. And I'm actually retaining it in the web page. And that's just basically how that is right now. Okay, so this is an ongoing project, and you see the way that I'm actually using that in here, and it makes the web page looks um, a little bit beautiful. Okay, that's the animation for you guys. And if you like this, you can give me a thumbs up, and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.